What is happening guys? We're Craig and Amy and you are watching King of Nerds. And this week we are in the city of Fez and we've decided that we're gonna be yes men. Today we're gonna say yes to everything. Ayub is a good man, he's gonna yeah, give you a lovely like tick in, what? in the side of your head. Did not expect this to happen. Do you feel in danger, Craig? I don't, I've got bad vibes. Bad vibes? Yeah. This day is getting so much better for me. What parents? Like, this is a big deal. I'm glad we said yes to this one. If you're brand new around here, then we live by our coin term king in it and our motto, as we always say on our channel, rule your own world. Saying yes has taken us to some unreal places and has literally opened the door to some of the best adventures we've ever had. For example, we said yes to driving a crappy 500 pound car across the planet. We said yes to driving a small cake tin, also known as a rickshaw, the length of India. We have said yes to a lot of things when other people told us no, or would have said no themselves. But we are definitely yes people. So we've taken on the yes challenge today to inspire you guys to be more open to new experiences, embrace the unknown with no fear, and see what amazing things can come of it. Now, although we have to say yes to everything, there has to be some terms and conditions in place for our protection. We can say no if we're asked to buy drugs. If there's any animal exploitation. If the price of something is very expensive, because we're not millionaires. Or if it puts us in danger. There's also a limit of two carpet shops that we can go and visit, because otherwise this would legit be like a carpet shop video. So we're about to head into the largest Medina in the whole world. Who knows what's going to happen? Let's do this. We also have two friends with us today, Chloe and James. If we're yes men today, you guys have to be yes men too. Are you in? Yes. <laughs> They're in. Yes. Good answer. Hello, hello, how are you? Yes, we shall. Do we want to go and try some of his sweets? <laughs> Morocco's just opened back up to tourists and I think everyone's really excited to see tourists. How many steps in are we? Well, there's the gate. Ten steps in. Oh, perfect. Oh, big welcome. See you later. See you later. Thank you. Later. Later. Thank Thank you. Thank you. It's Morocco here. It's everybody is a gentleman's meet tourists. No. A welcome in Morocco. Thank you very sure, much. A welcome 100% welcome in Morocco. Thank Thank you very much. Welcome. Shukran. Welcome. <laughs> Thank you. These are nice. Hi, <laughs> yeah? Okay. See you later. Nice. See you later. See you later. Thank you. Just say so yes, lad. Say so yes. We've got free sweets. Absolutely winning. <laughs> you loving your old yes life. I just life. love it. They're so lovely. The Moroccan people, best, best people. Here in the Medina, you will find everything. From knockoff trainers to a trumpet, taps, a blow piano, <laughs> so this fella's just said, do I want to get high before I die? Yeah. I don't do drugs though, so I'm yeah, going to have to say no this time. Yes, Thank you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> nice. So if you've never been to a Medina, you don't know what a Medina is. It's basically a labyrinth of thousands and thousands of shops and little streets where you can basically buy anything. But when you're here, you need to have your wits about you. One tip is always know where you're going and make sure you've got Google Maps loaded. Another tip for Fez is it's actually bowl shaped. So if you're going down, you're going towards the center of the Medina and if you're going uphill, you're going out. When we were in Marrakesh, we got cornered in a little alley because we got lost. I listened to a local who said he was going to help us. It turned out he was a robber and he stole five pounds from us. So don't be like us, be smart. You will get asked at least 1.5 million times if you would like a tour guide to take you through the Medina. The first guy that got to us was Charlie Brown. Just do it with Charlie Brown. Good round in the old town. Don't be welcome. <laughs> She's just down from here. I will take you Charlie Brown. Good round in the old town. Yes, sir. A local guy pulled me to the side and told me that Charlie Brown was a dangerous man and to watch out. Watch out, brother. No, we can't say we can't say yes to him then. Guy just pulled us to the side um, and told us that Charlie Brown's quite a dangerous guy. Um, he does look a bit sketchy. He's talking to a lot of people. I'm not sure where he would take us. So do we want to? Should we cut that one? Do you feel in danger, Craig? I don't. I've got bad vibes. Bad vibes. Me. Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. We're well, part of the rules, so we'll we'll just say no. I feel like I might. I might. <laughs> Does he know who I am? Craig doesn't call me Calamity Bannister for any reason. There's a lot of China happening here. China. Pray to God he never has an earthquake in here. <laughs> a bit nervous walking around. What am I from? 
We met this lovely fella named Mosin. He told us some jokes, offered us 5,000 camels to marry Amy. 5,000 camel, I give you for your husband 5,000 camel. But my wife, she come, no married, because for me. <laughs> and showed us how strong his plates were by standing on them in his dusty socks. Marit, come on, Marit! Yeah. <laughs> you are welcome, I jack. Got a bowl, no need price. And then Mosin gave us the price. He wants £33 for this bowl. So we left. Like Amy said, we're not millionaires. Hang on, not, not the pet shop. Uh, not the pet shop. Yeah. How are you? Whoa. Is this the size of the goldfish? I think I know where this is going, Craig. Yes, we'll take a fish. Um, yeah, one of the goldfish, please. Yeah. What is he going to put it in, though? Well, we'll have to get a tank, Craig, obviously. <laughs> what is going on? If he's buying a goldfish. And a fish. And a tank. And so a tank. we've now got a bus fish. Um, I think maybe we take him. Yeah. Ah, yeah, he's cute. That's it. Yay! What? This one. Yeah, no, no, no. Oh, yeah, I can't say no. Yeah, yeah. Two. We'll do two. It has to have a friend. <laughs> it's like an illegal in some countries to get one animal without another. Yeah. Okay, let's have a seat. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Yes. You are loving I it. <laughs> I've only thought of a name for one, so I have to think of a name for the other one. I didn't know we were going to get two. Best day ever! What parents? Like, this is a big deal. And we've got responsibilities now, Craig. Yeah, yeah. Merci! I love it, thank you! I'll look after them, I promise. Thank you. Good luck, thank you. Bonne journée. Hey, for ourselves. Some family members, Craig. Funniest part is she's going to have to carry that around for the rest of the day. <laughs> Mum, we bought two fish. Did yeah. you say you want to get a henna? <laughs> Yeah! <laughs> and you do it? Yeah. How long does it for take? For me? Yeah, 10 minutes. 10 minutes. Yeah. Look for the pictures. She just bought a fish as well. I, I did buy a fish. Yeah, yeah. fish. <laughs> <laughs> yes to the henna. Okay. <laughs> right, we're getting a henna tattoo. This day is getting so much better for me. <laughs> I feel like it's my birthday. <laughs> you excited, babe? I think so. We have many, many weeks without tourists. I know. Today is a big day for <laughs> me. <laughs> if you if you come in to buy like really nice stuff, you can do that. But you can also just have such a funny time and like a proper adventure. Yeah. How you recommend it? Or just anywhere. Just go out and start saying yes in your town. See what happens. That's the challenge this week, lads. Do it. Let us know how you get on. Anything tickle your fancy, bro? <laughs> I'm not sure, they're absolutely beautiful, all of them. Oh, Moroccan tea. Moroccan tea. Yeah. Thank you very much. <laughs> How was your henna experience and love? Yeah, really nice. I said, I um, just want the two fingers, please. Gonna go just a little, have a little smidgen of henna. She says, you want a bracelet? I said, yeah. Should I draw the middle bit? I said, yeah, obviously. So it's bigger than I wanted, but it's really beautiful. <laughs> what's the deal? Similar, so, similar. So one. what's one for 50? Two for 100 and one free. And one free. And make, 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 <laughs> and make. <laughs> okay, okay, Thank we'll take three. <laughs> Thank you so much. No problem. I have this one. Okay. Do you like hot? <laughs> yes, I do. Eat it. Yes. I will taste it. Yes. <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's spicy! It's so good. Give me some water. It's nice. Do you have water? And also my nuts. Uh, Give me water. Water. What? Water. 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 <laughs> what is this one? This is cinnamon. cinnamon. The strong cinnamon in Morocco. Is this a cinnamon challenge? Challenge, yeah. Challenge? <laughs> Do you like or not? I mean, I've got no choice now, have I? It, it is a yes day. It's a yes, it's a it's yes really for me. It's strong. To try a little bit? Yeah. To yeah. try? Yes, Craig! <laughs> cinnamon challenge, going down in this little shop. Bismillah. 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 No, it's nice, not, not, not spicy. <laughs> no, it's nice. 
Det är bra. Ja. <laughs> Snail mask. Snail mask. Is it the, sli yeah. the slime? Yeah, we make it for from the body yeah. of the snail. Oh, oh poor snail. <laughs> <laughs> Opium? Yes. Oh, no, thank you. Not for me. It's pretty amazing, though. You just turn off the main street down a little side street. You see some lights and you're just like, oh, what's in there? And then you get this, which is absolutely incredible. It's just like a little gold mine. It's like Aladdin's rubbed his lamp, and this is the cave that has just appeared. It's amazing. Okay. Look at this. It's literally, look that way and look that way. Yeah. And you go in there. And it's just like the most incredible shop with the most incredible arts and crafts. It's class. Uh, now we've got to find our way out. <laughs> oh, we've stopped for some food because it's quite hard wandering these streets when you're hangry. So. <laughs> We're not doing very well, Craig. No, I know. <laughs> So far it's been uh, a lot of danger, uh, a lot of expensive stuff and, uh, and some drugs and a lot of drugs. Mm -hmm. Chloe's kind of day. What's that? <laughs> All right, we've had some food. Heads in the game, saying yes, yes, <laughs> yes, please. Yep. Yeah. 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 What, what is it? My factory for the weave to the good picture from the view to see me of the mask for free Loki. If you don't mind. Okay, we've said yes to this fella. He's got a weaving factory, so there's a good view from the terrace. Not sure where we're gonna end up, but it's all part of the adventure, isn't it? Get with it! Ooh, look at this! Wow. Well, that was one of your wigs, I think. That is the wool. Sheep wool. Sheep wool. Sheep wool. Oh, poor bold sheep. We're going up, team. What just that in? Oh, hello, Kitty. Wow, look at this for a view. Ah, can you work this? Uh, this is special artist. Artist. <laughs> yeah. Oh, come on, give us. I thought you were going to give us a demo. <laughs> so after you shear the sheep, yeah. Do you give it a jumper or do you keep it warm, coat. like a like a coat? No. No. Oh. My friends from Wales come to visit Morocco. Yeah. Come in, yeah. come in, more tourists! <laughs> Watch out here. Watch out. Watch out. Watch your head. Always one crazy guy, no matter what town you go to. <laughs> Lucky it didn't take him up on that opium, I would have been like that guy. <laughs> Saying yes, I'll get you into some cool places. But it can also be very annoying when you want to leave. No, we don't want to buy a cactus pillowcase for 45 quid. That's how much he wanted. 45 pounds? Don't think about what you spend, thinking what you get. Carpet for life, bread we eat it and we throw <laughs> it. <laughs> but the carpet still with us for my life, to the car, outside, inside. I know. You know. Have Thank a good you, day. Ashley. Enjoy. Bye. Bye. It's non stop fun. See, my place where I work is okay. Arts Gallery. Okay. We sell carpets, yeah. beautiful things, and also for you, it's good to see the view, the best ever. Best to ever see the Karawiyin uh, Mosque, and this is the center of Medina. Yep. I'm not asking for money, and it's okay. free visit. Promise. Gallery. Going to an art gallery. Going to an art gallery. You've got gallery. two minutes, and we're not buying anything. <laughs> <laughs> That's not actually like getting enough. Okay. okay. I'm going to start a timer. Time. Okay. Two minutes. Okay, so timer started from now. <laughs> wow, now you're tough. Watch your head. <laughs> Watch your head. <laughs> Absolutely knackered, mate. Glad we said yes to this one. What's happening here? Um, Ahmed said, uh, if you wish to try on, and I said, yes, I do wish to try on, so I'm going to try it on. How much are your guns? <laughs> guns, it depends. Do they work? Uh, some of them. Really? Gunpowder. No bullets. Gunpowder? Yes. <laughs> so, this is... <laughs> Gun big enough, mate? <laughs> Not quite. <laughs> I it love it. Look. I think it looks great. 11 minutes 20, he's taking the piss now. <laughs> you actually put a timer on, yeah. I told him I was going to put a timer on. <laughs> Greg just can't accept 
the local experiences that we're getting, oh, you know. I know well, it's I'm all very, around. very similar, but they're all new guys with new stories. <laughs> you need, need to learn to appreciate things more. Yeah, I'm talking to you. All right, that's it for carpet shops. We've reached our limit already. <laughs> okay, yeah, the lady's asking us to go into the little school, which is really cool. Oh, this is wonderful. Arab. Ah, the alphabet. <laughs> Arabic alphabet. Okay. Yeah. She wants me to sit down. Okay, do you think I'll fit? She want money as well. Crazy! <laughs> stop it! That was an amazing experience, but they're all super cute, right? Yeah, all the kids. Blow, they blew his they kisses. Blow his kisses as we left. <laughs> 200 dirham down. <laughs> <laughs> Someone said, do you want to go to the tannery? And we said yes. No one of the rules was no animal cruelty, but this is part of the culture and this is what they do here in Fez. Apparently it stinks, but we're gonna go and have a look anyway. Good old Morocco, eh? It's crazy, and some of the like walls are like so close, you kind of have to do this to go through. So if you're a little bit claustrophobic, maybe Fez isn't for you. Mahaba. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome. Where are we? In the center right there. So now we go in the We are going upstairs. first to the terrace. Yeah. There is a panoramic view of ah, the tannery cool, cool. where you can see how we mix skins with all traditional methods. Will you carry me? <laughs> please, please. <laughs> <laughs> but like we don't know these guys. So by saying yes to coming up to this shop and seeing the best view of the tannery and all the fairs, like that's what you get for just accepting a little question. And it brings you to places, you know? This is really cool. So now we've learned about leather and how it smells. It smells lovely. Beef jerky, my favourite. Oh we were kind of looking for mugs anyway, but someone's just said to answer mugs and now you got some new ones for the bus. By the way, how fit does Craig look with my rings on? I love it. I'm trying to get him to wear more rings and he's just like, on my style. Beautiful. First they say, do you want a cup? And then they're like, do you want a bowl? And we're like, yeah, <laughs> yeah. today we do. So Craig hasn't really been involved today. I felt like it's been my birthday loads. So um, I just want to dob him in a little bit. I've asked this guy if he can do a Nike tick and shave it in the side of his head. And he said, yeah. <laughs> Are you? Are you? He's a good man. He's gonna give you a lovely Nike tick in, what? in the side of your head. Go ahead. Can't wait. Yeah. <laughs> Will the fish be okay? No, it's okay. It's okay. Thank you. A lovely henna, and I'm getting bloody Nike tick. <laughs> oh, he's taking my fish. He's a good lad. Pop it inside. Is it like a really big one? Just sort of, you know. No, not a big one. Act like no. that. <laughs> Sorry. You like that with one or with two? Just one. Oh, we were getting a full-on haircut. Uh, we haven't actually asked how much this is. It's just like first rule um, when you go into anywhere in Morocco is uh, put the price down first. This could be very expensive. I don't, I don't have. No poopoo scoop? No? No problem. That's okay. Thank you for looking. Thank you. Good guy. He went to his house to look for a little scoop. So um, we've broken our pooper scoop. Uh, we snapped the handle. I, I know what you're thinking. We weren't scooping the pooper and it was really heavy. It's just for our coconut core, for our um, compostable toilet. So we need a new one. He's getting his razor blade out. He's getting serious. He's getting serious, yeah. No templates. He's no just templates. Go free hands. Huh? I'm not joking, Craig. I think you're having it backwards. Shut up. <laughs> He's got the pooper scooper! <laughs> we got one! Pop the hairspray on, make sure it goes nowhere. Final touch. What is it? Craig, it's colour! And it just blocks out like where your cow's lick was. Bit of colour! Amazing! Now it is perfect! Pay your way and I'll do the grand reveal outside. The grand reveal, Craig. I mean, he's, he's done a good job tidying up the mullet, but the night tech is just diabolical. I want to see it. I want to see it. Oh, wow! <laughs> Babe, it's backwards. And is it? it? It's backwards. <laughs> like, if you're going to do a tick, you tick like that, but somehow he's gone and he's done a straight line. <laughs> and it's a little bit bloody. And he also cut my head as well. Cut and he head. tried to charge me three times the price. Oh, dear. 
best night tick ever. All right, lads, it's been one hell of a day. What a day. We're just out of Medina, our whole bodies are hurting. We've been carrying so much stuff, including two family members, for most of today. So we're heading home. Get home, bath the kids, put them to bed, <laughs> show them around their new gaff. And maybe and, uh, I'll try and fix up your Nike tick. So, honestly, <laughs> you look the part. You look a million dollars, baby. You cannot Thank deny you. it. Thank you. But maybe I could just touch up a little bit. Maybe put it the right way. Shape of this place. Not too bad. Dishes are done. At the least. dishes are done. They just look. They look like a lot. Hey. Welcome to your new home, friends. Hey. Craig was like, how, how are we going to take them out of Morocco? Like, do they need passports and stuff? Which I don't think they do. I However, never asked if they need passports. <laughs> That's what you were thinking though, wasn't it? Oh, look at that, a little sticker on the side. And that I see. <laughs> Here you go, lads. Yay! Yay! What are you going to call them then? Father Maurice and Dolores. Okay, welcome to Custard the Bus, guys. Let's give you some food because they haven't eaten all day. The good thing is, though, they've basically gone from a 45 bed dorm to uh, a private ensuite. <laughs> yeah. So they're probably loving life now, and they've got extra shells, and they don't have to share their food with 45 other fish. Brand new fish parents over here, so if anybody's got any tips on how we should take care of them, if you're supposed to just put tap water, water in there. And. Um, what do they want? Evian? Okay, lads. <laughs> I feel like if I smile, I'm going to crack. So what we got then, kid? Quick time. Glasses. Glasses. Bowls. Face mask. A hat. Face cream. A pop scoop. Bag of dates. Some argan oil. A couple of bucks. And some, like, glasses holder things, you know, really cool. Nike tick. <laughs> Penna tattoo. And a Laurel Laurel laughs. And a partridge <laughs> in a pear tree. <laughs> so thanks for watching team. If you have liked this video, give it a thumbs up because it really helps our channel. Yeah. If you're brand new around here, maybe press subscribe if you enjoyed the weirdness. Yeah. And for today's bit of advice, um, just go out of your comfort zone. Do something this week or this weekend that scares you a little bit, that, that you've got a little bit of fear for doing, just go and do it. Even if it's like wearing red lipstick, you know? It's not a biggie, but it still could make a very good impact on somebody. But also, if you are gonna do this yes challenge, make sure you use our rules. Don't put yourself in danger. Yeah. Make sure you're not spending too much money. Yeah. <laughs> and be good to animals. Maybe adopt two fish. And live a positive yes life, because you never know where it'll get you. Always remember to rule your own world. One, two, three, bye. bye. P.S. The shop is now open. Go get some King and Emerge, baby.